good morning my dear students i hope you are all safe today we move on with the second part of the present tense yesterday i had taught you the usages of simple present and present continuous tense today we move on to the next part and today we will be dealing with present perfect tense and present perfect continuous tense so we shall begin when and where to use the present perfect tense which means we will be seeing the usages of present perfect tense so we have the first usage that is given here to refer to past situations that continue up to the present we use the adverbial phrases like now before etc in this particular usage so what does it mean to refer to the past situations that continue up to the present which means there was a past situation which is being continued up to the present i'll make it more clear with an example here i have always felt that games should be interesting and what is a what is a past situation in this particular sentence the past situation is that have always felt that feeling is still continued up to the present the feeling had started in the past and it is continued to the present this example shows that the action called felt indicates the past situation and that action continues up to the present i hope it is clear for you i have always felt that the games should be interesting so that is the first usage of present perfect tense let's move on to the next one to express a past situation the result of which still continues once again to express a past situation the result of which still continues i'll make it clear with an example here before we go to the example there are two important words that we use in this particular present perfect tense and they are since and for i hope you know the usages of these two words once again i will make it clear for you let's see the meaning of these two words whenever you, whenever you use the word called since it indicates a point of time point of time means the, the beginning of an action when did a particular action begin when you use the word called for it indicates period of time period of time means the duration let's see the example here i have known her since 2019 in this particular example we can see the action of knowing which means it is a past action and its result still continues so the action began in the past but the result of the action is being carried over to the present or the the result of the particular action still continues there is a second usage of present perfect tense to express a past action the result of it still continues the result of the particular action is being carried on to the present let's see the third usage of present perfect tense to indicate finished actions finished actions mean the actions that are already completed i have visited paris three times this example shows the finished action and what is a finished action it is the action called visiting paris so we are supposed to use the present perfect tense so once again it is used to indicate finished actions let's move on to the fourth one we use the present perfect tense for repeated or habitual actions repeated means or habitual means the actions that are done regularly we use 
these two words words like frequently and often in the present perfect tense let's see with an example here i have often wondered why he is lazy this example shows the repeated action and the repeated action is wondering i have often wondered so the usage is that for repeated or habitual actions in this particular example what is the repeated action the repeated action is in wondering so we are using the present perfect tense go to the next usage of present perfect tense to express an action that has just been completed it means the action that is just completed let's see the examples given here the sun has just set now we have just finished our tea these two actions did not happen one year back these are the actions that just been completed these two examples indicate actions that are just completed the actions like set and finish are just completed now so that's the reason we are using the present perfect tense to express or to indicate an action that has just been completed so those are the usages of present perfect tense i hope you are you have understood it or you are clear with it now we move on to the next part of it and that is when and where to use the present perfect continuous tense let's see the first usage of it it is used to link the past with the present which means we are linking or we are connecting the past with the present what does it mean it means that the action began in the past and is continuing up to the present time in simple words an action that began in the past and is being continued up to the present time i'll make it clear with an example here i have been working in the office for 10 years in this particular example the action began in the past and and what is that particular action the action is working and that particular action called the working is being continued once again i hope you have understood the use this particular usage once again i have been working in the office for 10 years it means the action began in the past and is being continued up to the present time in this particular example working is a past action that particular action called the past action called working is being continued to the present let's move on to the next usage of present perfect continuous tense it is used to indicate finished actions what does it mean it means that actions that are stopped recently and its result can be felt it means the action is already over but the result of that particular action can be felt let's see an example here i am so tired i have been studying in this particular example the finished action is studying and its result what is the result of that particular action called studying is tired so we are using the present perfect continuous tense so once again it is used to indicate finished action and its result can be felt this particular example the finished action is studying and its result is that i am so tired so we are using the present perfect continuous tense let's see another example i have been running so i am really tired in this example the finished action is running and what is the result of this particular action called running that is i am tired so we are using the present perfect continuous tense i think you are clear with the usages of 
present perfect and present perfect continuous tense kindly go through the notes once again and i hope it will be clear for you so carry on studying and be safe